We have from Malaysia Zuna, um, an extremely well-known political cartoonist who, um, when he received his latest set of charges from the government, said he'll uh, co continue to draw until the last drop of his ink. He currently faces nine charges of sedition for his political cartoons, uh, which is in total 43 years in jail, and that trial is due to start next week. Um, so it's extremely timely that we're able to welcome him here today to talk about what it's like to be a cartoonist in Malaysia, but also to join Martin Rosen, who is a cartoonist for, among others, The Guardian, but also for Index on Censorship, has won a num number of awards and is also known for using his cartoons as a form of visual journalism to uh, poke a very aggressive finger at the governments of this country and to talk about, between them, what it's like to be at that edge where you're pushing the envelope, where you're drawing the line. So would you join me in welcoming them both this evening? Thank you. And before I get in trouble from the social media team, if you want to tweet this evening, the hashtag is FreeZunar. Um, and please do feel free to tweet. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much and, and welcome here this evening. Um, and uh, I actually feel rather humble to be on a platform with Zuna. Uh, <laughs> no need to say that. Um, <laughs> because uh, I, d I don't know what I would do if I was in his situation. Um, we're very fortunate in this country that we've had over 300 years of the kind of stuff that I do and that Zuna does. Uh, and governments in this country realise that they would be on a very a very, very dangerous ground if they started locking up satirists, although I'm sure that every government is constantly trying to work out ways to do it. Uh, and also this year we have realised that cartoonists um, are targets in all sorts of different ways. We're all obviously aware of the massacre that happened in Paris on the 7th of January when our colleagues at Charlie Hebdo were murdered, uh, not just them. Uh, the first person murdered in the Charlie Hebdo massacre was the building services manager. Um, I haven't noticed building services managers being interviewed at length about this attack on their profession. Uh, although it was an attack on their profession just as much as it was on ours. However, there is a difference between Charlie Hebdo and almost everything else because Charlie Hebdo, our colleagues, Sharb, Honoré, Cabu, Tinius, and Wolinski. Uh, three of those cartoonists were over 74 years old, by the way. Um, they were murdered by murderers. They were murdered by people who were members of an organization which is committed to murder, which is made up of people who murder for their living, for, for, well, for their dying, for their, it's what they do. Al-Qaeda is not a government, it is a terrorist organization. Zunar is in a far more difficult and disturbing situation than that because he is being persecuted by the government of his country. Uh, presumably for laughing at them. <laughs> and just to make it even better, here you are in Britain, you are being prosecuted under an old British colonial law. Yeah. It was introduced when it's your fault, you know. It's our fault. Your it's government our fault, fault <laughs> you know, to every now. Since um, 1948. Yeah. Is the law. yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so okay, sorry, right. sorry for that. But, yeah. I, okay. But, but, I apologize. But, accepted. But, but maybe you you can just uh, tell us, you know, precisely why it is that the government is is pursuing you with a, a threat of you. I mean, you are now, I think, 53, 54, 53, yeah. 53 yeah. and they want to put you in prison until you're 96 years old. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So what I have you done wrong? What about, have you done wrong? I didn't think about that. You know, <laughs> you're going to be, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, you know, I, we, I, uh, like this, as a cartoonist, maybe we have a different, uh, even though cartoonists, political cartoonists, I believe that uh, you also agree that our job is to criticize the government of the day. Absolutely. But um, maybe here you have government, but in Malaysia it's a regime, it's not a government. Because just to, to, to inform those who don't know that Malaysian been, uh, Malaysia has been ruled by the same political party for more than 58 years. So it's a regime, it's mm. not the government. So the job, I, I, I believe that the job and the role of political cartoonists are different. 
compared what you do here, yeah. your criti- you, you, you maybe you said that you criticize the government of the day, but here in Malaysia, we have to do more than that. It's to fight through cartoon. Okay. Uh, that, that's, why, that's why I think I need to do that. I need to, because we want to push for reform. 58 years, the government, uh, we have a very corrupt government. One, one uh, survey published in New York Times, I, I, I can remember a few years ago, two or three years ago, said that Malaysia is the second most corrupt country in the world. So, so that's why the, the, for me the role is, is, is more, we have, uh, uh, we have to really fight through cartoon rather than just criticize them. So that's what I'm doing through my cartoon. So I expose the corruption, I expose the, all the wrongdoing by the government, mm. and I do it, I did not simply, not simply just make people laugh, but my philosophy is always, why pinch when you can punch? Yeah. You, you punch them, you know, don't just simply yeah. pinch. Okay. It's, it's, it doesn't work for Malaysia government, you know? Okay, mm. um, well, um, I know there's one other cartoonist in the room apart from us, which is my friend and colleague Steve, Steve Bell. Bell here. Yeah. I don't know if there are any others of you who are cartoonists, but there's something, there's, there's something sort of peculiar about our job. Yeah. Um, because uh, of the nature of it. Now, you, you could be a journalist, you could be an opposition journalist in Malaya, you could be exposing the corruption of the government, right. you could be uh, writing a blog, a, a, you know, yeah. proposing an, an alternative government, just exposing the various lies and, and corruptions of the government. Um, do you think that the government would have responded to you as, as, as violently or with as, as, as vi- much, much vehemence as they had done if you were just a straight journalist? Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't want to undermine the journalists here, but again, I think that um, as a cartoonist, we have a bit, we have some advantage compared to other medium. Mm. You know, cartoon, normally people, people uh, cartoon normally carry some joke that nowadays people want to laugh, you know, people live a very tension life, you know, every day, they want to laugh. So cartoon provide that. And also a very quick message. You know, you, yeah. you read cartoon, you can, very easy to understand in one or less than 50 seconds or less, less than one minute, compared to you read the whole page of newspaper. And the other thing is, cartoon is very universal. I mean, I can sh- sell my cartoon book, I can show my books, my, my cartoon in uh, here, people can still understand. Yeah. You know, if you, I, I draw one, uh, if I write one article in Malay language, I bring it here, you won't, un- nobody will understand. Yeah. So, so that's its advantage. And also, the other thing is carry a pictorial, you know, images that people can easily register in their mind, normally, pictorial, you know? Like I draw, when I always draw the wife of the prime minister, mm. which is, uh, the people <laughs> laugh already, you know? I, I, when I mention that, people already laugh. The wife of prime minister, which is, uh, uh, is the most powerful person in Malaysia. So I draw with a very big hair, you know? <laughs> All big, you know, for her, you know? So, so people can remember that. People can yeah. remember that. And there are talk that she, she, she did to change her hairstyle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah she, she keep changing it, you know? So, but uh, again, you know, one, one of my mission is for people to understand Malaysian politics through my cartoon. Yeah. You know, some people, some people think that, you know, people abroad think that, well, Malaysia is very good, or, you know? Uh, people, recently people know Malaysia because of plane crash. You know, I, I was in Kentucky last year, you know. Uh, very few people know Malaysia in the university. When I spoke in the university, people say that, do you know Malaysia? Only 2% know. It's a very barrier college, it's a very remote area. Mm. But I said, do you know the plane crash recently? Ah, that is Malaysia. So people know Malaysia already. Yeah. So, but I want to, people to know that to, to I can understand Malaysian politics through cartoon. So, so, so I think that that is what we're talking yeah. about. The, the yeah. Um, but do you think? I'm just trying to work out what it is about the Malaysian government mm. that drives them so mad about you, because this is an overreaction. I mean, yeah. it, you say it's the second most corrupt yeah. 
country on Earth. It's a regime. Um, we know in Turkey, for example, at the moment, the president of Turkey has got a big downer on cartoonists. Yeah. Um, uh, he's he's co constantly putting cartoonists on trial. Um, mm. I helped organise something last year to get cartoonists around the world to draw caricatures of Erdogan. Yeah, I mean, he was trying to, he was trying to uh, get a cartoonist called uh, Musa, uh, Musa, yeah, yeah. Musa Katz, Musa uh, Pet, yeah. who was due to get, I think, nine and a half years. They wanted to put him in prison for nine and a half years wow. for a cartoon he did of, of, of then, the president. I'm sure it's still graphic. Yeah, and uh, luckily it got thrown out. Yeah. And I, I, I hope that I showed him some support by getting cartoonists around the world to tweet cartoons yeah. of Erdogan far more unpleasant than the original one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and uh, ten years previously, the same cartoonist was, I think, fined a huge amount of money for drawing Erdogan as a cat. Mm -hmm. I was in uh, Istanbul a couple of years ago and talking to some other cartoonists, or some other some Turkish cartoonists, and they said, uh, how, would, how would I draw Erdogan? And I said, I would never draw him as anything as nice as a cat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, cats yeah. are nice things. Uh, yeah. And so there is, there is this... But I think it's always been there. The idea that, that the powerful, the one thing they cannot bear, they cannot stand, is laughter. La yeah. Because their position is inherently ridiculous anyway. Yeah, yeah. And what we do is we... It's like, it's like the person... You know the story about the emperor's new clothes, the little boy who yeah, laughs yeah, at the naked yeah. emperor. Mm. The first laugh yeah. is the beginning of a revolution. And it was George Orwell said that every joke is a small revolution. So do you, do you think it's, it's, it's the laughter oh, yeah. in your attacks which is what drives them so yeah. mad? First, I refer this uh, Malaysian government as a cartoon government. You know? Yeah. As cartoon government is a, a government by the cartoon, of the cartoon, for the cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a... Abraham Lincoln will really say that, you know, it's still alive. <laughs> so again, uh, I agree with you that, you know, in Malaysia, you know, uh, you know few people are brave enough to confront the government. They know that if you go to demonstration, the, you know, the, the anti-riot police will come with uh, gas and then they will put in, in the lockup or what. So very few people, for the very reason, they think that they don't want to confront the government. But they can laugh at the government. Yeah. Laugh at the very easiest protest. The best protest they can do. Because the government, if you laugh at the government, what the government can do? And I think the, the, the best well, way is for, for yeah. if you keep laughing at the government, then they will fall down. They will fall down, you know? Well, the thing is, you know, they, the, what the government can do is it can yeah. put you on trial and try they, and put they you in prison for uh, you know, anti anti laugh, laugh uh, uh, act or law, you know, they cannot do that. <laughs> They yeah. cannot do that. So, so we provide love. That's why I, for me, I provide that. Yeah. And, and, and for, yeah, I, fair enough, you know. I have a Facebook that, uh, you know, I keep, uh, I, I post my cartoon daily. And uh, <coughs> people sometimes, sometimes, well, I always draw wife of the prime minister, you know, as the first person and then only that prime minister, you know, on yeah. the ranking. So people, sometimes they love it, you know, ha, 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 so many ha, ha's, you know. Because there's the protest, you know. Oh, you know what? You know, the worst two hours is okay. You know, three hours. Yeah, only people yeah, yeah, only yeah, three hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they, you know, you know, to say that they they want to laugh at the government, you know. So so for them, I think this is what the what I I, I provide there. In fact, I want to point out that in my Facebook, it is uh, free for everybody to share. It's no copyright. I don't have copyright in my cartoon. Mm. So sometimes I put it according to Zunar cartoons law. You know, I can create my own law too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know. Absolutely. It's a yeah, cartoon, this is cartoon, cartoon government. Yeah, it's this a cartoon, cartoon government. Cartoon and government. And, and, you're, you know? and you, are, yeah. you are the cartoon president. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's uh, And um, then, and according I'm, to I'm, my law. I'm the cartoon British ambassador. Uh, yeah, okay, that's good. Okay. That's good. So, that's okay. good. I'm, I'm liking this. Yeah. This is, this One day we hope that there is uh, the, uh, you know, the is prime minister act like cartoon. The cartoonist yeah. can be prime minister, why not? Well, it was, okay. it was the... Um, right. But I put it there clearly that according to Zunar's cartoon law, this is an, this is an offence not to share my cartoon. You go ahead, and, and because this is the, the my purpose is to to for them to laugh at the government. And so, mm. and presumably the government doesn't laugh. Mm. Um, <laughs> do you think do, do you think there are some people in the government who possibly are just sort of smiling? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that's why they are, that's why they are make them uh, more it's more powerful you know 
Because uh, if uh, people laugh, it's okay. But someone is behind you. Yeah. Someone just say, okay, boss, anything. And then and go then back and say, kick, kick, kick at the back. Yeah, you know, yeah, that yeah, that yeah, would yeah, be more yeah. dangerous yeah. Than, than people laugh, I think. Uh, but finally, finally you have to laugh, you know. If there's a cartoon, it's a joke enough. Yeah. It's yeah. a joke, it's good. People will laugh. Doesn't matter you like that person or not. If I draw a cartoon about you, if you don't like me or you like me, you know, but you will laugh at it. Yeah. You definitely will laugh at it. Well, I might you know, cry. Okay. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you need to try to laugh, you know. <laughs> that story about, uh, yeah. uh, you know Thomas Nass? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah, Thomas Nass, you know. Yeah. So he... He's so the, the father of the American father political father of American cast. cartoonists, you know, yeah. American political cartoonists. He, he was unable to, to, to brought down this uh, tweet. It's a tweet, governor. Yeah, boss tweet. Tamil boss tweet, uh, governor. You know? yeah. So, okay, la, they, to, to, to cut the story short, finally, finally, this tweet, the governor, and then when, when uh, Thomas Nuss keep drawing cartoon about him, you know, he's a, when then he, he fall down, and then he, he escaped to one, of one remote uh, uh, island. When a remote island, then people are looking for him, you know. But finally, they, finally the police can, uh, uh, the police detain him, can locate him, unable to locate him, detain him. And then with his, all, he got nothing during that time, He's very poor, nobody around him. But he has a, 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 a scrapbook about cartoons about him. <laughs> All he keeps, you know. Even though, even though it's all about him, you know. About, so, so this is something that I, I keep saying that maybe, maybe the wife of Prime Minister well, I was like say, my cartoon too. Yeah, well, it's, you see, this is, this, is, this is the weird thing about our trade, hmm. our profession. It, it, is, it is very, very interesting and peculiar and odd and complex and primitive and basic. It's basically ba black magic. It's sort of doing damage at a distance with a sharp object. It's sympathetic magic. Um, but it's also our relationship with politicians is very odd. Now, your relationship with politicians is not good. At not good at all. We can say it's not good. It's not good. Because they want to put you in prison until you're 96 years old, yeah. which is bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I'm just wondering whether the wife of the Prime Minister actually does rather want an original Zuna, whether she would actually like to have an original piece of artwork. Because um, there's a lovely story I heard by, from a Palestinian cartoonist called um, Baha Buhari who I met a few years ago, who uh, worked for a fatter paper. And uh, during uh, the PLO's exile from the Palestinian territories in Kuwait, he was working for this fatter newspaper, and he'd done a cartoon of a Kuwaiti minister. And there was a knock on his apartment door in the middle of the night, and there were these two enormous men wielding guns, saying, come with us now. And they put him in a car, and they put a bag over his head so he couldn't see where he was going. And he was driven off into the middle of the desert where there was this enormous house which was guarded by men, big men with guns. And he was led in. And in the middle of the, 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 port, the, the hall of this huge house was a Bedouin tent indoors surrounded by men with guns. And inside the tent where he was led in was the brother of the minister he'd done a cartoon about. Oh, okay who was standing there, covered in guns, mm. and said, are you the cartoonist who drew my brother in the paper the other day? Mm. And he thought, oh my God, I'm going to die. Yeah. I am literally going yeah. to die. Yeah, now. There are all these, I'm surrounded by people with guns. Mm. And he said, uh, yes. He said, why haven't you drawn one of me? <laughs> 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 uh, which is, which, which is actually a very, a very typical yeah, cartoonist yeah. story, that, yeah, that right. they hate it and yet they love it. They, certainly in... in democratic societies, it means that they're sufficiently interesting to have been noticed. And, I mean, even Hitler, when he was asked why he had a stupid Charlie Chaplin moustache yeah, yeah. in 1930, he said, my moustache is very political. It meant that the cartoonists <laughs> yeah. could reduce him to a black square. He'd yeah, be yeah, instantly yeah. noticeable. The, so, so this way for me, I, I, I would like to thank, thank you for the, you know, I'd like to thank thanks the wife of the Prime Minister. Yeah. Yeah, because she gave me the idea every day. Yeah. So what does she look like? Can you, I mean, where's the book? Uh, can I have the book and can show that I, 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 I can draw a bit? How do I draw her? You know, I. I well, you talked about this. What people, people ask Zuna, me. Tell her, tell her, tell us uh, okay. her name, so, so, yeah, okay. so we know who you're drawing. Yeah. Okay. Come again. What's her name? What's the prime minister? Uh, Rosma. Okay. Okay, Rosma. She is Rosma, and um, and I in my latest book is uh, dedicated to her. You know. Okay. I said that. Thank you very much <laughs> because. Because you give me an idea every day, you know. Every time, uh, what I need to do is I sit 
uh, you know, in front of TV and just wash your mouth properly. If you once you open your mouth, I can draw already. <laughs> then I said that. But I, I, then I put it again, you know. But sometimes you keep quiet for one month. Then I become worried. I got no idea. I got to <laughs> pray to God, please God, make her say something. Yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah. Uh, I think that um, uh, uh, then I need to thank her, you know, because she is very cartoonable. Okay. <laughs> then we need we need a, some cartoon character. I cannot I cannot survive by her husband, you know. Her husband don't say anything. One of his fa- fa- my, our prime minister famous quote is, "I don't know anything." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what prime minister say. This is a famous quote, you know. You, you can quote everywhere. I don't know anything. It's about an issue, but the wife. He's yeah. the one who keep talking, could do everything. So it's good for cartoonists. So I hope that uh, even I fight, try to fight them. I hope that she will stay in power for a long time. You know, for but, my I mean, benefit. Yeah. You know? But have you? But I mean, seriously, have you have you had any kind of feedback from her or anybody surrounding her? What she thinks of your cartoons? Is this is this storm of rage from the Malaysian government? Because of the way you draw her particularly? Is it, is it, is it as simple as mocking the most powerful woman in the country means that you've fallen foul of the government? I, I, I don't have a, 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 a right, uh, direct information about that. Right. But uh, let me tell you a story about the charge against me mm. to connect with this. You know? Yeah. Okay, um, I, I was charged by nine charges under Sedition Act. It's a record breaking, you know. It's the first Malaysian to get nine charges at one time. Nine charges at one time, you know. <laughs> so, um, but previous week, in the week before, the police informed me it was one charge, you know, hmm. one charge. And at the very last minute, the police came back and informed me it was going to be nine charges. So when I was detained, they put in lockup. So I, I told the police, why you, why you change this, you know? Why, why are you so sudden? He said that, I'm sorry, I need to get instruction from Putrajaya. Putrajaya is the, you know, the... Uh, government where the prime minister and the wife stay. Okay, yeah. So they said, I need to get a last minute instruction uh, from Putrajaya. Yeah. Uh, I said, who, who instruct you? I don't, she don't want to, you know, he, he didn't want to tell who. Yeah. But in so, Putrajaya so only got two person. Okay. And I, I don't and think the other one will do, and, he doesn't, and he doesn't know. He, doesn't, he, he knows doesn't nothing. know. He, he knows, knows nothing. He knows nothing. nothing. He, he, won't, he won't do anything about that. Uh, so, so, so this is this is personal. This is personal between I think you it's and really her. The personal. That's why that's why I don't need to go. Don't need to to, to, to you know. One is enough. Well, why do we need to go nine? You know, nine is uh, ridiculous. And, yeah. and I need to thank them too. Because it yeah. made a headline all over the world, you know. Yeah, you know, well, so I mean, it's, so, um, it's yeah. as you said, you're a record breaker. Yeah, I mean, record yeah. breaker. It's and then to show records. that what type yeah. of government we have, you know. Yeah. You know, I mean, we had to go nine, and then uh, what what they did to me, when become last minute, when it becomes a last minute thing, I need to find a bill, bill money is about uh, 45,000 uh, ringgit. Hmm. It's about 17,000 USD. Yeah. Within... Eight hours to nine hours, so it's a it's already a punishment before trial. Yeah. If I am able to get that, I will go straight to jail. But I thank I will thank you very much for my supporters, including here, you know, who chip in money, and uh, finally I able to 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 pay the bill. Yeah. But again, the point is, this this all I judging by her character. I think it's come from her. I, if I, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It, well, I, I cannot tell anybody else. In, no, in. it's, but it's it's truly it's truly bizarre um, because in this country, I said earlier on, we, we we are very very fortunate because we've had over we've had a tradition of over three hundred years of the kind of stuff that Steve and I do um, is part of the political conversation. That any politician who says, you know, how dare you draw me like that. <laughs> People will laugh at him more than they would if, <laughs> yeah. with, if, if we actually drew them because they can't take a joke. And you can't admit in British public life that you have no sense of humour. Um, but um, it's, it's, it's truly... It's, I mean, I, I'm, try, I'm trying to get my head around what I, I would feel like if, if I was in your position. Just doing my job, and my job is to mock the powerful. That's what the role of cartoonists and satirists is. And, and I think it's actually something which is the same as being human same as being human and alive, is we mock people who think they're better than us. That's what we do. It's how we stop ourselves from going mad. 
Um, and yet, if I had what you have hanging over my head, uh, here you are in Britain, um, which is a moderately free country, though possibly getting less free all the time, we don't know. Um, and yet, you are prepared to fly back to Malaysia to go to court. Um, it's going to be next week. Next week. And there, and there is... While you are standing, you're sitting here as, as a, a wonderful testament to the power, but also the joy of laughter, the joy of laughing at the powerful and the corrupt. And you are prepared to make a stand for that fundamental human freedom. Even my pen has a stand. Yeah. Um, it, yeah, yeah. How can it be? Yeah, okay. um, and, and possibly go to prison for the rest of your life. Yeah. Uh, you don't mention this on my life on 94. <laughs> you know, that, that, put an uh, unnecessary oh, pressure. Okay, okay. Just jail, just jail, okay? No, okay, okay, okay. Unnecessary okay. pressure. To I'll, me, I'll, I'll put it another way. You, okay. you, you're, you're looking pretty good. You'll probably make it to 106. So <laughs> okay, ladies. You'll get, you'll get 10 years okay, out after okay. the end of it. But, okay. but, uh, but, uh, but, uh, yes, between but, us, but, we are cartoonists, you know? We yeah, are cartoonists. Yeah. I, uh. I believe there are some artists here too. For me, whether you agree or not, or Steve Bell will agree or not, sure you will agree, you know? You cannot say no over this, but I just ask <laughs> you. Know. Okay. Talent is not a gift. Do you agree with it? Talent is not a gift. I agree. Not a gift. It's a responsibility. That's my view. You know, talent is not mine. It's not us. It's God sent. No university in the world offer talent cost. You go to Oxford, no talent cost. Nobody can offer that. So, for me, it's, it's, it's very important for an artist, a political cartoonist like me, to fight for my people. So, that's the concept. So, I want to go back. When they put me in, uh, the trial will expose this, how cartoon this government can be, the, the Malaysian government. So, that's the, the main point, you know. I can, I can, I can stay here. And draw cartoon like you, you draw a mm. pig, you know, I saw one of cartoon uh, about the HSBC. A pig cartoon, mm. cartoon the Prime Minister or what, mm. with a pig at the bottom of the pig, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you will be hanged twice in Malaysia if you do that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but, but well, you it, can do it, it here. It had a pig in it for yeah. a start. Yeah. But, but <laughs> again, again, because this is my mission, yeah. I want to understand that I really want to say that talent is not for myself. I, I really, I really believe in this. So mm. uh, I need to fight for my people. That's why now I introduce. Cut. I I don't uh, refer my my cartoon as a political cartoon, but it's a people's cartoon. Yeah. Cartoon for the people. Again, you know, I always draw. Some people in Malaysia or here, I think, they think that corruption is nothing to do with them. Layman, people like us, you know, corrupt. The politician corrupt. I have to do my job. You know, I have to do everything. I have nothing changed in my life, politician corrupt. But I want to tell Malaysian that you are the one who pay for their corruption. So in my cartoon, I always put the people who suffer. That's why I call people's cartoon. There are always people there who mm. suffer from whatever, the, whatever politician do. You are the one who suffer. So I want the people to say that, come, 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 come with us. Then this is all about us, not just about politics. Politicians don't pay toll. The people need to pay toll. Politicians don't 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 affected by this uh, petrol high mm. because the salary is very high, but the people's is. So it's not about political cartoon; it's about people's cartoon. That's why, why I suggest. Well, I, I think I think that's, that's that's very interesting because I mean, for years, mm. I would I've been doing this for th over thirty years now. I, I would think oh, I've I've drawn this person's ears so horribly that they have to resign. Their, their position in public life is totally untenable <laughs> because I've drawn their ears like this. Now I realise that wasn't what I was doing. That, although we attack politicians and we expose them for what they do, we make them look ridiculous, we, we exaggerate their ridiculousness to make them look even more ridiculous, our purpose, I don't think, is to shame them into resignation. It's to actually empower everybody else to laugh at to them. To laugh at them. Yeah. yeah, and to laugh at them is, is, as I said, one of the most powerful things there is. Every joke is a tiny revolution. I want to open this up now, if you're happy to take questions from the audience. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. If anybody, and, and then we can sort of have a chit yeah. chat, and then, and then we'll do some drawing, I think. Oh, okay. um, uh, does anybody have a question at this point? Uh, yes. yes. 
And we've got, we've got a microphone coming around. It's sure it's easy one. Uh, as you know, Naomi, <laughs> when I visit to Malaysia. Now, uh, I don't know the charges about uh, when you charge without trial for Sedition Act, but in Sabah, we had, since 1st of February, it's nine Sabahan charge for sedition and paid for 10,000, 20,000 each person. Mm -hmm. What is the for offense? What, so the what offense is, is for publication act. Okay. Just the signed petition to collect the people who are agreed to claim our rights mm -hmm. legitimately. And uh, the government just have the ambush to nine of them, go to the court, two of them remanded for two days. Mm -hmm. But then later on, uh, that was 1st February, 1st of April, yeah, and mid-April, then the other four, again, being ambushed by the police just because they have pen and paper only. Oh, okay. It's not armed. Yeah, let me go. Now, the trial will be on the 18th of May to 22nd of May in Sabah Session Court <laughs> for Sedition Act just because we have pen and paper, no less than anything else. So, but the charge that I want to highlight here in West Malaysia is more lesser because in Sabah, they charge 20,000 per person in Ringgit, Malaysia. And that's the damn money, the whole, it? yeah, we have to collect donation, the whole island of Borneo to pay for this. This oh. is a very serious thing for the Sedition Act, and I'm very unagreeable. I um, disagree with this for the last many years. Yeah, now attacking back from that, attacking myself. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and this time I'm not going back to Malaysia just when you know there is a crocodile there and you put up yourself there for them so no, so I'm fighting from England to say what I, what I want to say to the government now my respect to Zunar being very strong as soon as I know him face this charge, but there's no joke about Malaysia, it will become worse than anywhere in the world and you can compare Malaysia to Zimbabwe government, no joke about it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for that. Um, yeah, on my way here this evening, I, in my place I went to previously, I walked past a bus which had a whole of advertisement on the side of it, beautiful blue seas and sun-kissed beaches saying come to Malaysia for a taste of paradise yeah. oh yeah um, but don't take any pens or paper <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, has anybody else got a, got a question at this stage uh, yes sir at the back only two only two <laughs> but they must be massive and really hard. <laughs> uh, secondly, see, I'm sure that you know you, we got huge responsibility. Now that, as you mentioned earlier, have you considered your family? You see, now, what's the effect you see on them? You see personally, then. Okay. Want to collect first, or I need to no, go, 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 if you answer that. Uh, you, you want to know about the effect to my family? Is it? Is it that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. My wife worked with the government. <laughs> Strangely, you know. Um, again, you know, my f because we, we uh, this is the risk we need to take. In, in general, I think that we, can, uh, we need to choose whether you want to be an activist or you want to be rich. So, so we, have to, we have to make it clear this, you know. So for me, I think that, uh, okay, I need to sacrifice a lot of things. Uh, and then um, uh, to, 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 you know, because I, I need to, to uh, uphold my principle. So principle is very important for me. So there will be 
I, I true, I am true believer that if you do thing right, we do that, and then um, the rest all leave it to Almighty. You know, that that's my principle uh, as a Muslim. You know, um, uh, not Al Qaeda. You know, but it's, you know, so it's, I, I believe in that. So you know, we need, we need we, I don't want. What 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 is important for me, you know, for an artist around the world who face a, this type of problem is, we need to overcome the self censorship. Then it's a way to do it. If you start to the self censorship start to come in your mind, it will affect your work. It's right. If I do this, what will happen to my wife? If I do this, you know, now the nine they're going to be nineteen. You, you start to think that. So. For me, I, I, but of course, we are people, we are human. We have that, you know, come in my mind, come to try to think through, oh, in what level I need to draw. But I take uh, this uh, uh, way of, okay, I, I, I just concentrate what I'm doing. I don't care what the government will do. So this is how I overcome my, my self-censorship. If not, I will definitely, you know, uh, try to find other way to escape or try to draw a very soft cartoon or the, the wife mm. of prime minister suddenly becomes slim in my yeah, cartoon. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's, that's yeah. I must admit, I, I was just, just... This is, yeah. I was just thumbing... Th that's her there. I was, just, I was just thumbing through this briefly and, and these, just the way you draw her hair is hilariously funny. It's, yeah. just, it's just very, very funny. There is something... Yeah, you see in the she, previous she, book... Yeah, but she, but she, she must. I mean, there, there, there's wonderful one of her different hairstyles, but she must, she must realise how funny her hair is. Yeah, look at that. It's a panda. There's a panda, there's a panda style. Panda, you know. A, you That's in great. Panda, so. <laughs> um, you see, in the previous book, huh, it's about yeah. hair. Yeah. Pirate of the Caribbean. Yeah. BN is a ruling party. Okay. So pirate of Caribbean. <laughs> so I draw this. You see, uh, there's a two pirates here. Yeah. There's husband is a pirate. Yeah. But for oh, her, no need to wear the pirate hat. Because the hair is already like a pirate, you know? So she's a natural born pirate of me. So this is also the style. Yeah, yeah this is the one this is the one I saw. So and yeah. that, and that, is, that is just a that is just a, a funny drawing. Oh yeah. I've, I I don't know who this I mean until you started speaking this I didn't know who this woman was, but this is just a funny drawing. Yeah. And it just seems to be that that's the thing they can't stand. Yeah, I think that's I Well she should that. have a different haircut. She should shave her head. Well, that's <laughs> when, <laughs> yeah, okay. You see that's when you've won. Yeah. When she shaved her head. How would that give me more idea to draw? Yeah, uh, well, you know the ball the ball when, when <laughs> the Prime Minister there will be but again, I agree yeah. with you that you know they, they should, should laugh at it. You got an award from the government, is it? Or the, the government doesn't give awards to cartoonists. Okay, but, country, how, but how, the, how your government, uh, the the prime minister or any well, cabinet minister? I mean, uh, uh, you know, we 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 in, Steve and I we encounter politicians now and again. I mean, uh, of the politicians I've I've encountered, I mean, Gordon Brown was the most interesting one because uh, I tried to talk to him about economic policy, uh, and he said. Oh, why do you always draw me so fat? And I said, <laughs> the mouse would be like that, yeah. you know? Okay, okay. And I said, <laughs> I, 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 I said because you are fat, and he sort of went away. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> but, Steve, but Steve here uh, draws uh, our sadly recently re-elected Prime Minister. Uh, I shouldn't have said it's a bit political, isn't it? Fuck it, <laughs> fuck it. Anyway. Um, David Cameron as, as a condom. And you know, people, people say to me, why does Steve draw him as a condom? Well, because, uh, I think I'm right this, originally he, he believed in transparency in government, <laughs> condoms are transparent. He was a caring conservative, so there was a great deal of lube um, on this condom before oh, it was yeah. going to fuck the countries, basically. Ah, um, yeah. But most important is, he's a very pink man. He is pink and shiny. He looks like a condom. This is right, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, 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 but he did, but you, you met him once and he did say to you, yeah, I mean... I don't, I don't do it anymore because it's, it, it struck me as a complete waste of time. No, well, I, 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 <laughs> lo I you love it. Right, I, you need I, to see them moving around. Yeah, yeah. I, I love to follow them around and look at them and see them and draw them. Mm -hmm. And I pretend to be a photographer. And <laughs> the great okay. thing about photographers is they all dress up like terrorists and they have yeah. large, heavy equipment. Yeah. So I've got a proper camera. And I, you, you crawl around at their feet looking up at them so you can get very close to them. Yeah, and it helps to have a camera so you can actually magnify their faces and, and just look in and just record and see what they, they're like. And you get, it's useful for me because I, 
we're cartoonists, we spend most of our lives at our desks yeah. Yeah. because it takes time and you sit there and you pour it out and you pour it out. Mm. But it helps sometimes to go and get something to put back, that, yeah. to go and see. Um, but mercifully, I don't get arrested for it. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I can look them in the eye and they can look at me in the eye and they go, give me a nice green. <laughs> <laughs> so Cameron came up to me once and said, um, what, what, this is last election, five years ago, and okay. he said, um, What's all this about the condom? My wife, what's this condom thing all about? Okay. So I said, more or less, what mine? I said, um, it's to do with your extreme youth. Well, he's much younger than me, so, yeah. you know, 15, 20 years younger than me. I'm an old fart now. And, uh, and, the, and the smoothness of your complexion. Because having followed him around with a lens, I realize he hasn't got any hair follicles at all. He's completely smooth. He is unnaturally smooth. And that, I, I could have also said, you're a dick, but that would have, <laughs> <laughs> that would have breached the... <laughs> yeah, you but, know... But, 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 but he then said, didn't he say to him later, how far could you push a condom? Well, he, he, yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it's a few months later, he came, he, by which time he was Prime Minister, he came, there was another some piss-up somewhere at a conference, and again, he came, came to me to be I was standing with the, the late, great Simon Hoggart, we were drinking, and he came round with his entourage, which included... Andy Coulson and Rebecca Wade oh, yeah. swooping around the room, these, these sleaze balls. And he came straight and he said, um, you're not still doing that old condom thing. God. To which I, 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 I thought, I, well, inside I was thinking, yes, I, I, yes, of course I am, because you obviously don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then he said, um, you can only push a condom so far. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, now we're talking about, uh, okay, we go to another, uh, I, I would like to ask both of you, if you can, you know, you. okay, now we have a ch post Charlie Hebdo. Yeah. You know, we're talking about, um, do you, will you draw cartoon about to, read, to insult Prophet Muhammad or Islam? I'll be just you. Um, uh, okay, I'll, I'll answer that directly. Mm -hmm. Immediately after Charlie Hebdo, mm -hmm. I proposed to The Guardian, that I should do a cartoon of the Prophet Muhammad with his head in his hands, like that, uh, wearing, uh, stroking Moeza, his cat. You know the story about the Prophet and his cat Moeza. Uh, so he's, his, his face is covered, uh, and he's wearing a Not In My Name t-shirt. And I propose this to The Guardian because I thought, because there's an awful lot of people out there who are using this as uh, an excuse to attack Muslims even more. And I wanted to kind of, you know, outmaneuver them. And The Guardian, to its credit, spent 12 hours wondering, thinking about this. Thinking. And uh, they ended up by saying no, which is their right, because I don't self-publish. I don't publish on a website or anything like that. I get paid by The Guardian to produce stuff. And... Um, I had, to, I had to square it with my family. I had to ask my children, who are in their 20s. And they said, yes, that's all right. Uh, my son sent me a rather nice email saying, if you do get assassinated, can you make sure I do it? Which was, which was nice, nice of him. Um, and then it didn't happen. And they both admitted to me that they were actually physically sick with anxiety about the fact that I might suddenly have to go into hiding. I might get murdered. Yeah, Very yeah. unlikely, but it might happen. Who knows? Um, but I then did a, I, I t instead I did a cartoon of me slumped on my drawing board holding a piece of paper, describing the cartoon I hadn't drawn, oh, okay. and saying, um, but some of my loved ones don't see why I should get killed just to give you bastards a bit of a laugh or a, a, a smile. And then I spent 48 hours being attacked oh. anonymously oh. for not having drawn the Prophet for Muhammad. Uh, okay. So I was the world's worst coward because yeah, okay. I hadn't drawn the Prophet Muhammad. And all these people doing it on the internet, mm -hmm. doing it anonymously, mm -hmm. And after a while, I think I, I tweeted, you know, well, why don't you just draw your own picture, yeah. stick it on your front door, put it on Facebook with your name and address. You know, so on the one hand, there are people killing cartoonists. On the other hand, there are people who want cartoonists to die. So, um, but prior to that, after the Danish cartoon yeah, thing, um, I, I very publicly said that I thought that... Uh, the commissioning of those cartoons by the Danish, by Jylands Posten, was wrong because it was about targeting powerless people who, for the mo who are poor, live in Danish society, for the most part, clean the toilets in Jylands Posten's offices. Uh, then, when people use it as a way, use the, the excuse of the cartoons as a way of extending political power, then it becomes different. But um, anyway, Steve, what would you would you draw the Prophet Muhammad? Uh, well, well, I had similar problem to you. I. Um, 
whether I draw him or not, um, I sort of ask myself the question, well, what's the point? Yeah, what is well, the point? Why, why am I doing Mohammed this year? I don't, give a, I don't give a flying fuck about Mohammed. I've done God, you know, mm. I go, to the, go to the big guy. You know, I, yeah, why, why bother with the, author, with the middle man kind of thing? This is my personal abusive opinion of, of, of all religion, which I loathe. I think I probably share similar opinions to you. Um, so there's that, which you could say it's bold, you could say it's simply cowardly. What I did do, I had the same problem the same weekend I was doing a strip for the Monday. Um, I, I, I have this character who's a, an artist who looks a bit like me, a bearded git. Um, he wears a beret. <laughs> Is it you? No. Yeah, he's sort of. He's sort of based on... Yeah, but <laughs> he, he, he's called Monsieur L'Artiste and he, he embodies the, the sort of, I suppose, the pretensions of art. Um, the I thought he embodied the pretensions of you. Yeah, well, exactly. That's <laughs> it. My 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 my, pret my pretentious <coughs> desire to be an artist, to be a sort of um, there, there is there, there's a whole element about art which I sort of adore and also loathe. Um, and he was he was having a rant about cartoons. He said, Cartoonists, they're all wankers. Yeah. Uh, it's just to be Charlie Bullocks. You know, I can't remember the exact wording of the strip, but the final frame was uh, the artist. Uh, with a sort of green background, and his beret had expanded to become a turban, and he was saying, Je suis Mohammed, so, which, which is a stupid joke. Uh, I thought I might get away with it, so I wasn't you actually drawing <laughs> Mohammed, but I, well, I sort of was, but wasn't. Uh, and the same thing happened as happened with Martin. I had the, they spent hours and hours deliberating, but there was a sort of exchange of correspondence. For once, it wasn't as kind of a kind of abrupt text I get from Russ Bridger. It was quite a considered letter, which I think very kindly sent me. And I sort of saw his point. He didn't want to publish this because it would, you know, taken out of context, out of the context of a strip cartoon, mm. it could be, you know, pushed about. And um, he was worried that The Guardian would be blown up. And I quite understand that. I, you know, it's yeah. something you cannot... Yeah. 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 Um, so I, I amended it. And I had the artist saying, uh, je suis un gros con barbu, which means I'm a big fat bearded cunt, basically. Uh, uh, <laughs> it's not quite the same word. This is a free uh, expression organization, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> 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 you, uh, which they did publish. Yeah. Okay, what is the question? Have you finished? Yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, have you finished there, Steve? Yeah. 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 I think so. I think he's finished, haven't yeah. And I just wanted to add something to that. I don't know if you noticed as we came in this evening, but we had security on the door. Um, this is now about the fourth or fifth event I've done on cartoons uh, where we've had to have security on the door simply for having a debate about cartoons. Not even one in which Charlie Hebdo was in the title or we were going to talk about Islam because the idea that we might be discussing cartoons and offence might be offensive to some people and I think that kind of suggests yeah. some, something of the environment in which we're now operating. Um, it's, it's, it's not much comfort to anybody, but I always but say, there is, say nothing, you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is nothing more offensive than killing somebody. Yeah. Nothing I could draw could ever be more offensive than somebody killing me. But, uh, you know, I don't think that cuts much ice with many people. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. um, Zuno, when was the first time you were arrested? In uh, September 2010. Okay, that's about five years ago. Yeah. And you've had your offices raided. Yeah. Your books confiscated. Um, your staff threatened. Yeah. yeah, and you were called um, by the Washington Post, New York Times, Al Jazeera, yeah. and all the other press organizations around the world. And then recently, after Charlie Hebdo, and then you were ar again arrested um, when you when you wore the wig um, outside yeah. the. Yeah, I, I was in London. Yeah. Okay. Now, all the press around the world were interested to interview him, but. There was not a squeak from the British press. Why is that? Are you ask me or... You um, I don't know. Any uh, members yeah. of the press yeah, here? I what, know, what do I you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, it's a very good question. I wish I could answer that. I don't uh, have any editorial control over the papers I work for whatsoever. I try and feed them stories. They pay no attention to me um, because I'm just a cartoonist. True, but um, why did the Washington Post, the New York Times, the Al Jazeera, CNN... and other newspapers, they, they contacted him when he was in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. But nothing from here. Probably because our press is corrupt and craven. Oh, <laughs> I have to Can say. Can I quote that? 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> means I'm, means I'm yeah, not working it any longer, the, but you know. The view, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah but yeah. Uh, maybe maybe yeah. there are some other members of the press here who would... Who I would wish there were. Maybe Claire can, can budge that. Yeah, um, I'm unfortunately not able to answer that. I wish I could, but I just, I, I'm desperate to know what Zunar's answer is to the question he posed to. Well, I was about to ask him that. Yeah. To, to Stephen and, about, and about Martin, and whether you think that there's anything that shouldn't be drawn or can't be drawn, and you know, you can be as specific as you like about that. But where's the line for you? The line, okay. Uh, I, I, I will talk uh, generally. Eh? For me, uh, for me, I don't interest in other topic. For me, only the wife of prime minister now. So that is only my target. So I, I, I when people wa people ask me why I don't draw other things, no, no, that's not my target. But but talking back about uh, the line, you know, which how far the cartoonists can go, I I would like to to put it in proper perspective. You know, people some people they, uh, people now they don't they don't really they mix up between the moral right and your artistic right. This is two things people don't, don't really, you know, people don't, you need to put a proper perspective. Okay, moral right is something that, you know, people can, it's very subjective. Charlie Hebdo cartoonists draw Prophet Muhammad, Muslim, angry. But if you draw about, about Jesus, Christian, relax. You know, so it's about subjective thing. So you can have a right not to happy with that. You can angry with that. You can say that you are insult. Me as a Muslim, I when I saw that cartoon, I say, oh, this is this is this is too much, you know. I I'm not happy with that, but I need to respect their right as a cartoonist. Yes. You know, this moral right. Okay, you can say the moral right. You can say there are no moral. Go ahead, but not to kill them. You see that one point I would like to to highlight here is a question actually. If Prophet Muhammad still alive today. Will he kill the order the cartoonist to be killed or not? No. 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 Prophet Muhammad did, will not order them to be killed. But how? Who are Muslim now to think that they are more Islam than Islamic than Prophet Muhammad? Oh, so indeed. this is the things you yeah. need to be. You know. I mean, I did. I did. I have to say, I have to admit this, uh, and this is being live streamed around the universe, so oh, they'll be after me after I admit to this. I did after the Yarlands Poston cartoons. Danish cartoons, uh, imbroglio, let's call it that, uh, happened. I did actually draw the Prophet Muhammad. I drew um, a man with a beard and a turban reading a copy of the Island's Poston with a thinks bubble saying, none of these look anything like me. Yeah. Which yeah. I thought was an, a perfectly good, good joke. That's a good joke. Too. It's, yeah, a, good, it's yeah. a good joke. So it's where are you worry joke. about? Where yeah, you worry about? Yeah, yeah. but yeah. Um, I, I, that was published in a tiny circulation magazine. It nearly got into the Scotsman and they, they pulled it at the last minute out of fear. Mm. And we do, I mean... The, 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 the admission, sorry, sorry just, 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 just a minute, but the admission that you needed security because we're talking about cartoons. Cartoons are meant to be about joy and laughter. They're meant to be about making life bearable by laughing at the idiots in charge and the morons who think that their, their, their principles are worth anybody's life. That's what cartoons are about. We are the licensed jesters. Uh, you know, not the unacknowledged legislators. Nobody would want a law passed by a cartoonist. But you need us to help you laugh at them. choose our targets. I don't yeah. want some, some twat who's got a billion of money about Mohammed to choose my target. I don't want to draw. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. draw Mohammed. Okay. Okay. I, I that's the whole point. You are, you're not being sweet as in light. You're being offensive. Yes, yes. you are. It's deliberate. You yes. take, I mean, one does take a joy in it. One does take a delight in offending people. But you, you want to offend the people you want to offend. You don't exactly. want to offend. Yeah. And, and um, just, just to, I'm going to give the last word to Zuna, but, I, but I, I just wanted to say that 
the reason I am a cartoonist and I am a satirist is because I am offended. I am deeply, deeply offended by the fact that this stupid woman with her stupid hair wants to put you, you in prison you for 40 with her, years. With her at all? No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Right, 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 right. um, I, I, I'm deeply offended by inequality. By, by, I'm, yeah, I'm offended yeah. by the very idea that people think that they can place themselves in a position of power over me and the rest of us. Yeah. And that is why I am a cartoonist and why I'm a satirist. Um, and uh, the fact that we have to hide in the shadows, behind security, because there is an idea that somehow we are doing something so unspeakable that we're all going to get but murdered and is, you are going to get murdered this as well. This is just madness. recently, you know? Just recently, yeah. Past 10 years. Because of internet, everybody can think, because of the, the emergence yeah, of, yeah. of social, social media, maybe. You know? Yeah, I think it is. I think yeah. Anyway, I'm going, to, I'm going to give the last word to you and then I'm going, okay. to, I'm going to wind up. Um, so, give us your message. Before you go off to trial, before we go to trial for 96 years again? No, 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 no. For Give after us 96 yeah, years, yeah. okay. Just, 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 yeah. just okay, uh, comfort First of all, thank you for support. You know, you come here to support me and to hear my testimony about uh, what happened to me. And uh, <clears throat> for Malaysian, I, I would like to, to invite you all to join me in fighting this government. And uh, uh, we do whatever we can. You know, as I'm a cartoonist, I do... I, I draw cartoon. Those days I know I, I don't know to do anything. But I will. You you people, everybody can do their part. Do whatever you can. Do whatever you can. Everybody can. If you people can write, you write. If you can speak, you speak. If you can block, you block. The least you can do. You have the dog. You know the dog can bite the prime minister leg. Also, I think that's, that, uh, the wife of prime minister leg will be more. You know, yeah, but yeah. this is a contribution. Mm -hmm. That, that, this is raised. just a, to show that we can do everything, anything we can do. So I hope that by everybody doing anything, uh, everything, then then this is what what uh, uh, that is uh, very important in this struggle. You know, we are all just like a drop of water in the ocean, but if we combine, we can create tsunami. So this is important for us to understand that. So nobody hero. We are, we are here because we draw a cartoon, but we are not hero. You know, everybody are the same. We play our part. So, so uh, and then also, if, if you want to help me, today I have some book. This book is uh, Rose in Kangkung Land. This is my latest book. It's uh, unable to, la to launch. I tried two, two times to attempt to launch it, but the police was there earlier to yeah. stop it. So uh, you can help me by buying this book from my assistant here. That's, all, and, that's my basis. And Zuna, that this has been an absolute privilege to yeah, me. You, you are without doubt one of the bravest men I've ever met in my life. Yeah. And yeah. good luck to me too. Good luck to you. Thank 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 you. Big up for this man. Thank you. And, yeah. And, yeah, thanks to the to uh, index of uh, on censorship for uh, hosting me here. Right. Come again? Oh yeah, yeah. We got. Oh, okay. Right. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is the launching. I did the launch in London. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to draw him now. Oh, you draw me? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. While I draw. I think the, the 
object is not important. The object is uh, an attractive, but the subject behind it. So this is her, you know. Uh, yeah. And then she got a uh, very expensive ring. So I must draw a ring every time. Okay, this hat, you? Wow! 